The Boss DS1 is an iconic distortion pedal that's been a staple of rock and alternative guitar tones over the years, notably being used heavily by bands like Nirvana and Smashing Pumpkins. Due to its widespread appeal and budget-friendly price, it's a very attractive pedal for beginner guitarists who are just looking to start or build out their pedal collection. I've owned my Boss DS1 for a few years and I've made this review to share what I've learned during that time. In this review, I'll share my thoughts on its features, controls, and most importantly, how it sounds with some clips of my favorite settings at the end. I've written a detailed review on my website, roundtableaudio.com, that I've linked in the description below. Let's start with the features. The familiar, straightforward design provides everything that you need at your fingertips. There's no tricks or hidden controls, you can simply plug it in and play. The body itself is made of metal, which makes this pedal really hard wearing. It can handle everyday wear and tear and even take a beating from travel and live performances. Mine certainly has. The jacks, knobs and electronics are very secure and don't wobble around, even after years of use. And the stomp mechanism feels robust without feeling too firm. I prefer a solid click button on a pedal, but the Boss design works well. You're not going to accidentally turn this thing on or off. Finally, the Boss DS1 can be powered from either a 9V battery or a power adapter, which gives you some flexibility and extra portability. It's a very what you see is what you get pedal, which works great for most people, especially beginners. It's also very affordable, coming in at around $70, which makes it very accessible to beginners and those of us on a budget. Now let's take a look at the controls. There's three knobs on the DS1, level, tone and distortion. The tone knob works by cutting either the bass or treble frequencies. Turning the knob to the left cuts the treble, leaving more low end for a warmer, darker sound, and turning it right will cut the bass, leaving a sharper, sometimes shrill tone. To me, the tone knob can make or break the sound of the DS1. In my experience, turning this knob too high can easily ruin the sound by making it sound too shrill. The level knob sets the loudness of the pedal's output. Turning it down makes it quieter and turning up makes it louder. Most of the time, I set the level so that there's no difference in loudness between the pedal being on or off, which is called gain staging but occasionally I'll put it a touch higher to use this as a bit of a boost for soloing. Finally, the distortion knob sets the intensity of the effect. A lower setting means less, but still some distortion, and a max setting produces heavy distortion, which means lots of saturation, overtones, and sustain. There's a big difference between the min and max settings on this pedal, which is great. I find that I can get anywhere from a slightly bluesy crunch to a full-on wall of sound effect. Finally, let's hear how it sounds. The Boss DS1 is a high quality, affordable distortion pedal that I'd recommend to anyone. It's simple and straightforward and has a powerful sound that extends well beyond its entry level price. For more info on this pedal and a deeper look, check out my article below.